but yeah, just us tonight. We're in, this will be my last show for a little while. I know. You're um, like, they're all Kyle episodes. And they're all contraire. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tune in next week for, <laughs> for a look at how that's not the case. Yeah. So, so this yeah. is, you know, I'm sure it's even more surreal for you. But even though I knew how serious this whole situation was, even going back a couple years, when it was talks like, like, oh, it could be years in jail. Like in the back of my head, I was like, Kyle's not going to jail. That's not going to happen. It's going to be fine. This is going to pan out. And now you're going to jail. Yeah. Or... yeah. <laughs> it panned out. I mean, I, I'm pretty happy with Cue the, the always sunny yeah. like b- intro. <laughs> you know? That's, Who's yeah. checking the mail? Kyle yeah. goes to jail. <laughs> yeah, it's the curb your enthusiasm music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, it, I, th- I think I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way things panned out. Uh, all things considered, I think it's a, a pretty good uh, spin. You know, we were hoping that they'd have room at a halfway house because they since so I got sentenced to two months and uh, I don't think you're I, I, I've been it's been hinted at that like, but it won't be two months. So so we'll see. So maybe I don't know if that means two calendar months, 60 days, 56 days. You know, like, like well, 28 is the shortest of the months and maybe it's a leap year and we'll make it. Con- <laughs> you know, I, I don't know exactly how they, they, they factor that in. And then another thing is um, you you often don't do your full sentence no matter what the amount of time is, it would seem. So I'll find out very soon. Uh, I go in tomorrow. But uh, but yeah, all things considered, um, I'm very happy with the way things have panned out and everything. It'll I'll be I'll have all this nonsense behind me here in, in October. So and- I mean, after thinking it could be decades in jail. yeah them Taylor, coming to you and being like two months you're quieter than you were pre-show and, and i didn't speak up uh, it's PKN. just it's just the distance yeah do this do this taylor a lot real fast yeah yeah, yeah real, real quick, real quick. <laughs> yeah. <this>. okay <laughs> yeah keep it going keep it going Don't stop now. <laughs> i'm almost done <laughs> I'm uh yeah but 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 yeah i uh i, I check in tomorrow uh and uh the pl- i don't want to be too specific about where i'm going but it's it's below minimum security um, like there aren't fences where I'm going. Like you could just walk out. Um, it's like, um, so it's like, an, it's like less secure than a nursing home. It's literally less secure than a nursing home. Um, I'm not positive. There are locks on the doors. Um, there's definitely not cells. Um, like there's no like shachunk, like sliding, like cell door or anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's uh there's a bunch of activities to do. Like, like there's literally like a, I think it's called pickleball that, that tennis game. There's like a tennis court. Um, that's a fun game. You know, you're going to have a good time. How in jail. is pickleball uh, different than tennis? It, it, does it use tennis rackets? It uses this little tennis racket. It, it's like between ping pong and tennis. Like it looks like a ping pong racket in that it's solid, mm-hmm. but it's m- much bigger than a ping pong racket or paddle, I should say. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's smaller than a, it's a silly game. I don't play it. Kitty plays it though. And she's like, I'm so excited. You're going away. Going to learn a bit of pickleball. When you come back, we can play a few rounds. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the silver lining, Kitty. That I'm going to learn pickleball. I so bet that they're not called someone... rounds either. I I don't know for sure, but I just imagine <laughs> yeah. there's sets or games. Play a few sets of pickleball. <laughs> um. So so yeah yeah. Uh. I I don't know exactly how long I'll be going. It shouldn't be more than sixty days. Uh. And uh, but it could be less like maybe it's just a month, you know, like like maybe it's maybe it's something like that. Uh, I'll find out like like pretty quickly. And what I've done, I don't know about you guys, but there aren't very many phone numbers I have memorized. Mm. And oh, literally <clears throat> only my own. I feel like <laughs> I know my own. I know my mother's because it hasn't changed since I was in high school. And uh, and that's like it. So I'm going to memorize like one phone number and I'm going to give that person my list of phone numbers. So when I get inside and call them, like, all right. I need Woody's number. I need Chiz's number. I need my dad's number, my mom's number. And I'm going to, then I, once I'm in, I've got access to all kinds of nonsense, like notepads and pens and mm-hmm. paper. And, and so I'll have, uh, I am pretty sure that I'll be able to have quite a bit of phone time. Uh, and, and I, in an ideal scenario, I'll be able to like, like, I'm just guessing, I don't know anything about how this is going to work, but let's just say I get 20 minutes of phone time a day. I, I'm guessing it might be two hours a day, or it might be all day or whenever you want. There might just be a phone hanging there. But uh, ideally, I would like call Chiz and be like, "All right, let's set up a, a call," and uh, and like maybe like one afternoon, like like when you guys are doing PKN or something, like we we just record a segment where I, I call you guys and we record like however much time I've got, and I tell you what's going on in prison today. Like, oh, well, this would be hilarious. It's I'm here with Dirty Mike and the boys. Say hey guys. Say hey guys. Hey Woody. Hey, hey what's up? <laughs> hey, what's up? 
<laughs> and, 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 uh, funny? <laughs> and Woody, but they're letting me know that they're going to need a lot of boggle timers mailed in. They, they're all out of boggle timers here. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's a that's a reference of King of the Hill for Peggy. Well, you got to get boggle timers in. It. It's yeah. critically <laughs> important. They, they need. They want their own special sand for the boggle timers. You're going to yeah. pick up a package <laughs> named from a guy named Slippery Steve. <laughs> He'll be coming by twice a week. Peggy, uh, so, you don't find so when, it odd he loses the timer every week. <laughs> <laughs> what I I've take seen, it from him. <laughs> what I've seen in TV is people don't know their checkout dates, right? In my head, it should be like vacation. You know exactly what your starting and ending dates are. It, yeah. it, it, it's firm, that Taylor's situation aside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but in prison, they don't seem to know your checkout date. This is weird to me. I, I don't know anything about that. Um, I don't know how that works or how that will work. Like I said, I think I'm going to learn a lot of stuff tomorrow. I'll figure out what's going on. I'll get uh, I'll get checked in every and everything. And uh, uh, I think I'm allowed to bring like two hundred dollars with me. So that'll like be an instant injection into my commissary, so I could buy like basic necessities like fucking sneakers and shorts and like soap and shampoo and like all that. All like uh, yeah, a, a, a shiv, <laughs> uh, a toothbrush. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Colgate now with extra stabbiness, yeah. uh, so I can get all that stuff down and uh, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get going. And I'll, I'll I guess I'll be able to call you guys uh, pretty quickly. I'll let somebody know like what the situation is and like the phone situation. I think is what's going to be cool because I love the idea of like you you guys doing PK and be like, all right, now we have a segment from Kyle. <laughs> 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 and being able to, uh, I don't know how my audio will be in uh, in prison. I, I you know, asked honestly, the worse it is, the funnier it's going to turn out. <laughs> <laughs> if you sound like you're just in an empty st concrete room. <laughs> yeah, and there's a riot in the background. But but yeah, uh, I think it's going to be really interesting for like content for the show. Like like this whole experience should be, you know, because I've never, I didn't even go to camp as a kid, you know. So this is. <laughs> This is going to be interesting. I never slept uh, at my friend's house. Oh. What if you really get? What if you get into pickleball so much you're like Ricky in Trailer Park Boys when he's like, <laughs> they, they like force him to leave. He's like, you can't force me to leave. It's today's the hockey tournament. You know, <laughs> <laughs> keep they don't, they don't, yeah. I've gotten so good at pickleball. They're trying to trying to kick me out of jail right, so right. I don't get to. <laughs> yeah. After 20 uh, days, you're dominating the pickleball league amongst all these 57 year olds, and they just like, get him out of here. What's yeah, the main I think, thing um, you're concerned about? I'm going to guess the the shitting situation. No, like, I don't care. Are they like, nice like, bathrooms, hopefully? Oh, I have no idea. I have no idea what it'll be like, but like, I just won't care no matter what. Like, like uh, it, when something is established as the norm, then I just accept it as the norm and I'm good with it. So like, if everybody was shitting in a hole in the corner, I would just go ahead and you know go shit in the corner you know whatever it's gonna yeah. be one ah, one. so you'll be serving time in india i see oh, yes. <laughs> welcome to welcome to the pickleball court uh, i haven't eaten anything but curry in two months <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh honestly i'm not worried about anything other than the bed being uncomfortable uh because uh, the beds in jail suck like it's not a bed it's like a metal frame and they have like one you remember those nap time pads you had in kindergarten yeah that like all right everybody go get your pad and you like throw that thin fucking wafer of a pad on the floor and for a five-year-old 80 pound child that's fine but like when you try to lie on your side on one of those like my my like hips dug into it and like my shoulder and my elbow and like you have to lay flat on your back and distribute your weight for to get any sort of comfort in one of those so i'm really hoping the beds are something better than that that's really the only concern because I've looked at like the commissary thing. It's like five pages of shit that I have access to from food and like toiletry items, you know, all the shampoos and soaps and detergents and deodorant and hair gel and brushes and combs and like all that stuff. Do you get a uh, TV or is it like you sit in a big public room and watch Judge Judy with everybody else? Do I don't know, know if I don't know anything about that. I know that um, frequently there are jobs that you would have at this place. Um, you would go and you would work uh, like, like some sort of a menial labor type thing, like around the camp or uh, at a local, uh, you know, army base or something like that. I think they do that sometimes. Um, so, I, but, but I'm there for such a short period of time. It might be one of those issues where it's like, well, it takes two weeks to initiate you into the course and two weeks to remove you from the course. And you're here for six weeks. So you're just going to hang out in the barracks. So, so I'd be fine with that. Like if I just, I don't get bored easily. Um, so like I could, I could literally sleep all day and like read books and do push-ups and, uh, and maybe like 
jog a mile a day and I'll, I'll just, I'll be happy. You know, I'll be fine. As long you as know, it, the, the funniest way to handle this would be obviously it's below minimum security, but you should go in there and just try and alpha the whole situation. <laughs> like you, oh, you yeah. walk in, you walk in like you're like you've done hard time in real prisons and you're going to be in, in there with like what bankers and loiterers. <laughs> essentially, essentially. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's got like a, um, a pretty minor sentence. It's just, it's a matter of like a, like, like a half a decade or, or so everybody's doing like five, 10 years that I'm in with or, or less. I think Even that more seems like a lot of time. It does. Yes. Our, 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 our sentencing laws are so draconian. They're, they're just like, I, I saw everybody the other day, they were upset because that guy who mailed those fake bombs to like Hillary Clinton and all those people, he only, he, he only got 20 years. And I'm like, fuck. He said they weren't even real bombs. Well, he was he, trying to make real bombs. He was just, you know, was he like ten I cases? Of I, I'm doing my Thor murder. face right now. Like, was he? Face, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but was he? <laughs> like, <laughs> right. If, I mean, if that was his I mean, best attempt, then maybe he needs some sort of special education, like <laughs> instead of prison, because those were. I mean, they weren't even wired up. There wasn't even way to like for them to go off. He he was hoping upon hope that they would get the package, stick a fuse in it, and light it. Like, like he needed a lot from them for them to get hurt. This was not the Unabomber. Um, are you sure about outside. that? They weren't even wired? I wonder if the wires came off in the mail. Um, no, none of them were operational in any way. There was no way for them to be triggered. Like, there, there just mm. wasn't. Like, like you've got... we made fun of this guy at the time. Unless We did, because the bombs were... Like, you know, they showed pictures, and they talked about the makeup of the bomb, and a few news outlets discussed the fact that the bombs were essentially non-operational joke bombs but then that kind of got quashed squashed and they, they didn't talk about that anymore but that was the case like i mean joke bombs is pretty fucked up to do to oh people. yeah look <laughs> not defending the guy i'm just saying maybe 20 years is excessive for sending somebody a scary joke that know? guy who uh it, it in like norway or sweden i think it was norway remember that guy like 10 years ago or whatever uh uh what was the fuck Breivik? uh brevix or whatever he shot a bunch of people like the children on the dozens island dozens of people um like, there was a and they can only put you in jail for up to like 22 years in norway or whatever system it is and so it's like oh you, you raped a bunch of children up oh, 22 years sorry yeah that, that's that's as much as we can put you in there for up oh, you killed two dozen people yeah 22 years almost a year a person like that's i don't know man definitely I, not enough i think i have a different view of that like, like imagine it like imagine imagine five years like you're in the prime of your life right now you in particular like if the next five years of your life gone like not worse than gone because if you could snap your fingers and they could there was a, a episode of star trek where um they're on this planet and they get caught for some nonsense and the punishment on this planet is they put you in this machine and you experience a long prison sentence in the snap of a finger but you're in there and you're living in this cell for like 25, 30 years or something. So when they pull you back out, you have the mental scars of a person who's been in, in solitary confinement for 25 fucking years. And the guy was like broken. He came out and he was just broken by this. And it, it, like, I don't know, man. Like, like if you imagine what five years really is. Oh, it's, it's a, a lot. There's a black Unless you're a episode. hoodlum. Like, like there are some people I think like, like us here. So, like we got goals and like missions in life and like we got friends and family maybe if you're a person well not all of us really, it's, it's almost <laughs> over for hey, years start two clearly now. some of us yeah. have given up and we're doing loop de loops at 3500 feet but <laughs> taylor and i have a mission we're we're, we're, we're steadily What's your mission along Fortnite wins? <laughs> i mean like <laughs> <laughs> you know there's there's goals here um but but like Maybe if you've like been in the system your whole life, like like you were in juvenile detention centers and you constantly doing like six and eight month stays throughout your life, there it's just peppered with that. Like you're like, yeah, three years. What the fuck? I get to hang out with the boys again. You're you're literally like a trailer park boy at that point, where it's like prison's great. Yeah, they got the best dope in jail. All right, like we got we got booze. You know, it's a little weak, but whatever. You just drink more. Yeah. <laughs> Free I'm sure there are people are like that. It's like in Goodfellas when you see the prison thing, and it's just a bunch of Italians like enjoying food like sitting around playing cards and it's like you know what this doesn't look that bad like yeah you... their their level of prison was a whole different kind of thing it was like what why do they even keep them in there like like just just let them go yeah it's like they run this place 
evidently. So that happens now. I'm trying to remember who's enjoying that. Epstein, uh, maybe Madoff. I, Madoff is in my head. I'm oh, just Madoff, not sure. Yeah. yeah, but some of I, these guys are living it up. Madoff's not living it up now that I think about it. Because I actually saw an interview on. It was when was Michael Cohen the guy who got sentenced to a few years recently, like maybe two or three months ago? Okay. So on uh, maybe Fox News Radio or something like that, they had this prison expert. They were interviewing him about where Michael Cohen may go and what his prison life might be because he's lived. A, he's a wealthy guy and he's lived like this privileged life. And now where is he going to be? What's he going to be doing? And they referenced Bernie Madoff quite a bit in that. And they were like, well, what's Bernie Madoff up to? And he's like, well, you know, I, I know that Bernie liked to collect watches. You know, he had he had hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of watches. What kind? Of, they're like, what kind of watch does he have now? And they're like, <laughs> well, it would be a digital. Um, and uh, it would be of no more value than $137. Um, that, that, that is the rule. And it's just like going through like all these things, like the things that he can have, like the best of the best thing. Well, could you get like candy bars? And, and well, not good candy bars. We're talking payday, almond joy, mounds. <laughs> I like almond you joy and mounds. I'm on the same page with you. Paydays are, are pretty good. I, Did you I get the whole shebang potato chips? Did yours arrive? Well, let me tell you. Dude, how I'm right there with you. Arrive. I kept mine. I, you know what? Go get them. Put a and pin on that. And I'm going to show the audience. While you're what, gone, I'll describe mine, and we'll see if they match. I think that'll Wait, be. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Potato so, chips. So yeah, yeah, you were uh, you you weren't here last time, bitch. <laughs> so you guys ordered chips. All right. So we were. Um, I was pretty drunk last episode. Too. Me and Filthy started drinking, and we we, uh, we both got pretty wasted. And Woody brought up how in prison they have these potato chips called the whole shebang, that are like. The prisoners, I guess, he watches a lot of his prison YouTubers for some reason, mm -hmm. and he's he's like they, they 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 rave about these whole shebang potato chips and how good they are and how you can't get them, and we're like Amazon real quick and there they are and we both <laughs> click 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 clack we order these bitches. Mine showed up and uh and, and Kitty Kitty goes yeah potato chips came they came in a fucking envelope that somebody had stomped on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they came in this envelope. I saved it for the show. And then I guess postage, who do we have here? Uh, you, I can't tell. They must have smushed it to make it extra flat. I did not do anything to this bag. I don't know. <laughs> That's exactly what my, <laughs> mine was twisted. Like, yes. Mine was flat and then twisted like a screw. You might think I somehow altered the bag like to exaggerate it for comedic effect. No. no. This shit is, I'm going to open, I haven't opened it yet. Yours looked better than mine, frankly. Mine was flat as, a, as they could be and then like torqued. Actually, like, this twisted. looks a little better inside than I expected. But they're Can all we see the front? really the front, the whole mm -hmm. shebang. These potato chips, they're only sold like over the counter in prison, and they're supposed to be so amazing that some prisoners are going back for them. So far, I'm unimpressed. Yeah, that's why they're going back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I just love the chips. It's like, well, that's the fifth time we've caught you in a girl's restroom spying on people. <laughs> It's like no, it's just, it's just chips. <laughs> it's yeah, really not about the, the girls. You know what? The, these are pretty good, actually. Well, I uh, I reordered mine, so maybe when what? I get out, yeah, I sent them back. I'm like, 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 it's, I'm like, I'm well, not accept this. You returned them. Yeah, you returned a bag of chips. Yeah, it's Amazon. How? Oh, I guess yeah. Amazon Jeff is Bezos is the richest man in the world. He could afford to send me a second bag of tater They're chips. Going to be the same. I don't. They're... I'll keep sending them back. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, now the second ones you sent me are stale. Well, you spent several <laughs> months in jail while we <laughs> after we were. Uh, um, I wonder yeah, I if you now. can get Amazon deliveries to jail. No, no, you These cannot get Amazon good. deliveries to jail. <laughs> as long as it goes to the front office, and they're like, "Well, he just wanted a, uh, uh, he just wanted some, he wanted to play cornhole with his buddies." I don't know. I I don't know the the routine in this. Le you you stressed so much how little security there is. Now I think sky's the limit. Where you have to be uh, ordering things and I, like like they literally were like, you could just walk away, but but don't don't do that. <laughs> that's that's escape. And I'm just like, There's no right, fences, well, but there are towers with rifles. We ain't got no fence around here. That's right, boss. We got the gun line. Tell them about the gun line. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so oh, are uh, there um there's an enforced schedule, right? Like there'll be a lights out, like a sleep schedule and a wake yeah, schedule. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think I read something about like maybe you wake up at seven AM and you go to bed at eleven PM or something like that. Are you like low grade looking forward to getting that like 
helping sure sure you know why not you know um I, i'll just get into that sleep schedule it's not like i need to i'm gonna be staying up late you know doing anything anyway once you know i'm, I'm sure i'll be sleepy you know by the time it's 11 i'm gonna be active during the day i guess doing shit depending on whatever's going on like I, I'm, I'm hoping there's a gym i'll do, do some working out do some running and uh i'll be eating that delicious prison food that you always hear people rape about um <laughs> the potato and, chips uh, are actually good <laughs> like, those I'm, come from the commissary you know, no, like, right now i like oh, they weren't so <laughs> crunchy i see what they're talking about they're super oh. seasoned and that part is immune to breaking they're pretty good <laughs> i'm wondering what the food's like like in my head i'm thinking minimum security better food but it might be the same slop they're giving people who like you know raped kids or murdered their spouse so that would suck Maybe. i think that if you don't do something that bad you should get better food like, yeah i have no idea i have no idea i know that like jail food was god awful it was so nasty man it was so awful just the lowest grade of everything the like sausage links looked like they were just dried out and like shriveled uh just yes. the oatmeal had no sugar or butter in it or anything it was just oatmeal i don't know if you've ever eaten oatmeal <laughs> by <laughs> itself it's like mashed potatoes if you're not putting something in there what's the fucking point it's not terrible like, for people that don't I'm know to i think jail is where you spend your time while you're waiting trial right so that can be a long time sometimes trials drag out for more than a year and people spend that time in jail then there's prison prison is where you go after you've received your sentence and Sometimes, especially like in Kyle's case, jail is worse than prison because oh, yeah. once you go to prison, you're sorted with people who are of a similar level offender. Whereas when you're in jail, uh, you're mixed in with everybody. So if you're like, a, you know, not really a, an axe murderer like Kyle, then you're mixed in there with the people who are axe murderers in jail. But but after prison, this, the grand sort happens. Yeah, that's mostly that's mostly accurate. Um, I think sometimes if you've done certain crimes, you would be sentenced to jail. You know, if you've done some low level, like, uh, like local or, uh, or, or maybe state crime and they, they can mm -hmm. sentence you just to jail and the, the jail that I went to, they actually did have a separated somewhat. I think that the guys that we were all in very similar accommodations, but it seemed like everybody in my like block, uh, we were all in there for fucking drugs. Everybody was in there for weed or meth, except for that one guy who had got caught breaking into his neighbor's shed and that other guy who had apparently molested the small girl. <laughs> but, <laughs> But uh, that, that it was sounds kind of fucked a... up, but I feel like if you're entering prison, that's definitely a guy you want entering at a similar time to you <laughs> is a guy who like raped a kid because you're like, ev nobody's paying attention to me right now. Like everybody's like, and then you can join in too. Like you said, you did where you're like, man, can you, do you hear what Ted did? That sick son of a bitch, man. I sure am glad we're not like him. You, know? <laughs> you guys want to be friends? <laughs> no, 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 I don't. I definitely don't want that SS tattoo. It looks good though. It looks good. Sick Kyle. Sick Kyle. I was watching uh, Indiana Jones last night. And I, I forgot this little part. You know, it's there's there's Nazis mixed all in it. The whole first movie is them trying yeah. to get the uh, the Ark of the Covenant from the Nazis, and there's this part where. Uh, the guy's got the little Makuchin monkey or whatever the fuck on his shoulder. And uh, he, he's meeting up with the Germans. And he goes, you know, hell Hitler. And the Germans go, hell Hitler. And the monkey goes, hey! <laughs> <laughs> and, and they return the salute to the monkey. And I, was, I, I love that part. I, I had forgotten that. I hadn't seen it in so long. So fucking good. That is funny. <laughs> the little monkey goddamn through. Germans and they're teaching monkeys to sing. <laughs> <laughs> is there no extent to which they won't go? Man, I'm, I'm trying to think of more stuff. Like... They have, probably have classes, right, in prison where you can go and, and either make license plates or learn to paint or something. So, again, like I hear about that stuff. I think maybe that's like it depends on what prison you're at, what's going on. And I think maybe like I, I hear about that, but I don't know. I don't what know. What new skill I, like, would you choose to develop in prison? Interesting. Self-defense. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle's going to come what? out like a ham, op ham radio operator. Yeah. Yeah. Can I join that ladder building class? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, maybe. Um, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm kind of handy, you know? I mean, I've built my own mm -hmm. PC, not to brag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I, I can do some basic plumbing. Base I can, I can wire up a, a ceiling fan. Um, I could, like, you know, I can... I, 
I'm not gonna. So I, would you I, like uh, to like further that like home ownership no, type stuff? No. no. Okay. You know, I can do my own crown molding. You know, I I, I got some skills. I, I can do basic shit. Automotive, I'm not a, maybe. <sighs> well, I. If I ever need automotive advice, I'll go to Conway, South Carolina, first of all. <laughs> what all about right? the I, kitchen? I, I prefer to learn from a master. <laughs> what, all right? what if you could <laughs> Anakin Skywalker <laughs> didn't just go off and learn his 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 trade from he went to a, the Jedi Council, okay? Mm -hmm. So if I were to learn something, I'm and I have wings of redemption at my disposal, I'm going straight to him for that. He's the That's Yoda great. of automotive repair. If there were a coding <laughs> class, I would take it just just because mm -hmm. I guarantee it's in an air conditioned room in a chair. That has to be That's true. Smart. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But uh, another but I thing doubt you could do is like, from my understanding, is that at every prison there's at least one elderly man who knows a lot about chess, <laughs> and so you can become good at chess. That's yes, that's and he has a pet crow. Do. He has a pet crow that he feeds crow. little bits. Yeah, but then you got to look out because a mean sociopathic criminal kills the crow. And then infuriates a younger but good prisoner who comes back and fights on behalf of the old guy after he learns chess from him, of course. Not Mr. Jangles. Yeah. He was going to be a circus crow. He's going <laughs> to be a circus He's going to be a circus mouth. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. It's so sad. I cry every time he stomps that guy. Fuck, fuck you, Percy, you piece of shit. That uh, was, that's some, a movie that, like, I get like Ramsey, Joffrey, whatever. I thought they were entertaining. When I see Percy in the Green Mile, it's just like, God, I know you're just an actor, but I want to shoot you. You're the worst. You He's suck. The worst. He absolutely is. Yeah, I I doubt there's gonna be class, especially again because I think that my the the fact that I'm there for such a short amount of time will uh, like prevent me from really getting the full prison experience. Like like I probably won't be there long enough to get any tats or join yeah. a gang or anything like that but uh, yeah. yeah hopefully not hopefully not I might, I might get a little fucking done though you never know you never know <laughs> i will all judge right? you know when you're all in right. prison there's new rules yeah yeah well tony soprano laid all this down if you mm -hmm. watch that episode he's like my now just to be clear my incarceration it, it was not extensive enough for any sort of uh <laughs> homo penetrations yes. <laughs> 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 he said something like that uh <laughs> Uh, but, but yeah, I, if I had to guess, I would say it, here's what, if my guess is going to be that like you get up at like 7 AM and if you want to go to breakfast, you can, if you, if you want to lay in bed, you can. And then there's probably some sort of like at nine or 10 AM, there's probably like work for everybody to do. They probably find us all out of there to go pick up garbage or like yeah, just keep you busy with something. From what I understand, we don't actually have to clean the prison. They've got people who's that's their job is to clean the prison right? like they're prisoners right but they've been given that job and so it's like you know keep your area tidy but like otherwise like it doesn't seem like that's something you do so i don't i i'm guessing that there'd probably be like several hours every day of like i would i would guess picking up trash or garbage or something like that or maybe we'll get to go tar a roof and drink some beer uh maybe <laughs> maybe something like that <laughs> Probably not I hope that, that one. <laughs> I, I, I hope that it is a lot like the Shawshank Redemption, except yeah. without the sisters. I'd like to you tell know. you that Kyle fought the good fight and beat up the sisters, but I can't <laughs> tell you that. <laughs> I'd like to tell you that when Kyle left prison, his fart still made noise. <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't. <laughs> and they never would again. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, um so so yeah, I think it's going to be pretty monotonous days of like nonsensical like trash picking up kind of work and maybe some working out and some reading of books and uh, I hope there's television, but I I I'm, I don't have high hopes for television. I thought television was common even in like shit tier prisons for people I, who I I honestly don't know. I imagine there's television. I'm just not sure there's it might just be common room television. That'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be fine. I don't need my own. Now, there's, as long there's as it's like a nice 70 and, inch plasma, you know. Then there's I mean, drama and politics around the television, right? Like the That's how you make friends in prison. The first thing I do <laughs> standard death? Yes. <Yeah>, standard... <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Shrek 1? If you're gonna be watching like E Entertainment or something, you'll want to change it, and you'll find out oh. that the different different gangs have different TV shows they want to see. Yeah. Never turn off Maori when the Latin Kings are watching. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I want to see episode, Holmes. 
<laughs> God damn it. I've seen this one before. Yeah. Spoiler alert. I am a father. The baby's not his. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so funny. If they, I imagine that's like a real thing. And I get my, all my information about prison from that show Oz that seems realistic. You know, uh, all you have to do is get past the first day without help, having someone tattoo a swastika right near your butthole and you're home free. But that's, that's, that's Belcher cool. or whatever the fuck his name was, he didn't he didn't do well. And the guy from the State Farm commercials, well, you know, or all state, whatever it is, right? Yeah. I think it's all state. Yeah. He was in that movie about like being angry at a band. I don't uh, remember that. Yeah, Schillinger. I can't think of his uh the actor's name. He's a he's a good actor though. It's Schillinger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm I'm glad it's a minimum security what are you prison. Wearing to it. Like did, did you show up in an outfit? Do they say bring a white tee? No, nah, I'm sure they, I'm sure they're going to provide some sort, you know, some prison clothes, you know. Well, they take all all your shit when you go in yeah. and put yeah. it in like a bag and then when you go out you get it all back, right? Yeah. Who's, who's yeah, taking exactly. you there, dad? I guess. Uh no, I got I got a ride. I got I got a, a friend who's taking me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I'll uh I'll head out tomorrow. I head out in the uh, the morning. Get what there time are you supposed bit. to get there? Before noon. Oh, Before okay. Noon. Yeah, it's uh that's not so hard to accomplish. Get there yeah, around seven all. or eight to make a good impression. <laughs> <laughs> you might extend your sentence. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's so know. funny. Yeah, that, 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 it is such a like a stress on how not intense what you did is that they're like, you know, show up uh, noonish. Is that, is, that <laughs> is that okay? You know, I know you probably want to have a late breakfast with your with your dad, and mom, or something, but yeah, noonish. We'll call it noonish. You know. Ah, yeah. you'll be out of there in four to eight weeks. You know? I wonder if you could get off for good behavior. And, and does that even apply to a sentence? This I don't short? think so. I don't think so. I don't think I have enough time to to show any good behavior. You have time to show bad Such behavior. A, you could see how definitely that works. to have time for that. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll try not to do any of that. My parole, my parole officer, um, probation officer, he was like, you know, give me a call uh, whenever you're about to go check in, so I know that you're checking in. And I'm like, well, if I was going to run, I'd have ran two years ago. He's like, <laughs> he's, I, I, was, I was like, I had to be a real maniac to, to go through all of this, get sentenced to 60 days and then run. He's like, I've seen crazier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, trust me, I'm going in. <laughs> like, yeah. like, 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 like I'm, I'm, I'm going in, dude. Like, <laughs> doesn't seem to be another option. Well, I'm glad that worst case scenario, 60 days or whatever it is. Does yeah. the potential to be real shit? Yeah, we're not sharing the the location, but I I tried to find pictures of it and pictures of inside of it in particular, and couldn't. Do you have any? Like, did you have? Did you try that too? Did you have any success? Um, no, uh, I didn't really look too much into it. Uh, I, I looked at the outside of the place or whatever, and uh, I read like a review or something like that. Like, there's a website where like prisoners review prisons. Like it's oh my like, God, what's this website? <laughs> <laughs> it's like Yelp for prison. <laughs> yeah, I don't even want to type it. I don't want it in my URL type ahead, autocomplete. Like, a, yeah, I, it's, I have secrets uh, to keep. Yeah, um, but uh, but uh, I, I, I mean, it's going to be. How did it do be. on prison Yelp? Oh, uh, I like like the the posts that I found were literally like eight years old or something like that. So I just I didn't even look too much deeper into it. I was really just trying to find out, um, what part of the place I was going to be in, not to give too much away, like 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 which area of it, because uh, they've got like multiple kinds of like they got like several levels of prison at each prison, mm -hmm. and I was just trying to figure out what what that was about. But uh, but yeah. Uh, well, looks, looks like yeah, I looked into something similar and I didn't didn't have a lot of success. So. Yeah, yeah, I, I I love that there's a Yelp for prisons though. You know, it's like the, Me too. the mashed potatoes suck. <laughs> you know, that's that's an area where you could do well, right? You're looking for a prison job, maybe. You know, that we talked about coding or car repair. What if you worked in the kitchen and really elevated their shit to the next level, right? That your phone calls to to PKA could just be. 20 minute diatribes on pepper and salt and other seasons <laughs> I'm unaware of. 
They're loving the spaghetti. It's, <laughs> it is the rave of cell block D. Everybody's yeah. going nuts. I got I got other people committing other crimes just to get into my cell block. <laughs> Everybody's talking about it. After lunch time, they carry you on a chair like in a bar mitzvah or something. They're it would be funny for if, spaghetti. <laughs> it would be funny if every time you came back on the show, you got a little bit more like, you know, and these... These guys teaching me a lot about Hitler. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get further and further down that line. Yeah, I'm bringing oh, my funny. manifesto with me. You know, that, that thing I read on the show about uh, about the Holocaust. I think that is going to really, really elevate me several levels once I get in there. When they hear me, hear my uh, my take on that, I'm going to be one of the guys. These potato See, chips are stupid get, good. They're really could, good. Right? They're everything they said they would be. I'm eating like broken <laughs> potato chip crumbs and I can't stop. They're they're really good. Oh, the whole shebang. They're not a sponsor. They're not a slicks hidden. No. They're just to all uh, those people out there listening in prison. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're no, listening no, no, to this from commissary. prison, <laughs> check out the whole shebang. If you get them off Amazon, they'll be destroyed. But good God. Dude, you have a short enough sentence you could get racist henna tattoos and they would last long enough that you could pull that off <laughs> what if i what if i what if i get these racist henna tattoos and it's all black guys in my in my, in my cell block <laughs> well then you just go wash off <laughs> <laughs> oh, three to five days i don't think i'm gonna last that long. <laughs> no i always shower in a shirt <laughs> <laughs> this, is my this is my shirt shower shower shirt <laughs> i'm a never nude a never nude i Ugh. never that's yeah, so uh, uh, you know, I, I, I think it's just going to be like a, a real boring, annoying prison camp and our well, and, uh, camp. I was going to say just camp like summer camp was what I was going to say. It is a prison camp. But uh, but, <laughs> you know, the, the, I'm just annoyed that like I won't be able to, to do the show with you guys. I won't be able to play uh, my video games. There's so many UFC fights I'm going to miss. I, I, are I, like, are there like, a bunch really? of good ones scheduled for you? Yes, dude, sell the bit. And come back with a shaved head, please. <laughs> Dude. That'd be uh, really funny. That would be I'll so tell you great. what I am going to do. I just got a haircut today. I'm, I'm very excited about it. It's, it's, it was, I uh, hadn't cut my hair in six and a half months, uh, and I got a cut today. It was down to here. It was uh, long. Like, it was super duper you long. You hide a lot of length. Um, yeah, the yeah. Way just, you comb it, you can hide a lot yeah. of length. But I was, I, I saw back. it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was like like behind my ears. Like it would go. It would like cover my ears all the way up. In the back, it was shaggy. Like it was like down, almost down to my shoulders, and like thick. Like when you when I ran my my fingers through it, it was a problem. It was getting very annoying. And when I'd be cooking, it like my my gel the steam is like making my hair product give up, and it's just like falling <laughs> in my face. And like I'm in the middle of cooking, and I'm like, looking for something to tie my hair back with, and I'm not a girl, so I don't possess these things. I don't even, I don't own a single hat. So I grabbed like a, a knee sock, like a dress sock, and just went Ch -ch -ch, like Mr. Miyagi. And I'm there with a sock around my head, fucking making like pasta. And and everybody's like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, but yeah, I'm I gotta busy. cut today. I'll be right back. I got a thing. But uh, <laughs> what, what I what I am gonna do is I'm not gonna shave the whole time in there. Now I don't grow like a, a crazy beard like you do or anything. Um I I I, I this is like four days or something that I got going on here. You know, it's nothing, nothing crazy. Just you got some trim it. You got a plan. No, you no. You go down to like a cool cowboy style mustache once you're out and shave the rest or just keep the beard. I, I'm, I'm going to keep the beard. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm not going to shave the whole time I'm in there. Uh, and, uh, unless they make you, I don't think they do. And, uh, and I'll see what I come out with. It probably won't be too, uh, too cool, but, uh, but, uh, it'll be, it'll be what it'll be. Well, if you're not shaving in there, then I think that, Jackie needs to allow Woody to also not shave, and I won't shave for the two months, oh, and we'll Jesus. all have solidarity be like beards. Hockey. Solidarity so, beards, Woody. Yeah, so, <laughs> so I think it was last week, Kyle, we were talking about hats, and I was saying, man, I need a hat that helps you with the sun, that keeps me a little cooler. Yeah. Um, and he's like, you need a cowboy hat. So I go to Amazon, and I start looking at the different cowboy hats, and uh, it comes in, and Jackie's like, your cowboy hat's here. I'm like, ah, cool, cool. I put it on, and she's like, that is a lady's cowboy hat. I'm like, no, it's not. This is a cool cowboy hat. And she's like, it has a jewel in the front. And I'm like, you don't know? You didn't see Urban Cowboy? Like, it's cool. It's you were cool. still defending it. Yes, yes. I was like, this is a nice cowboy hat. I'm going to wear it on my tractor. 
Uh, well, damn, Kyle. I hope you have a good time. I think there's a chance you literally might. Right? Like, it sounds like a joke. Have a good time in prison. No, it wouldn't yeah. shock me. It wouldn't shock me no, if he was I, like, you know what? I uh, got my sleep schedule in order. Really started lifting weights. Turns out I enjoy lifting weights. Uh, whatever. There were some nice guys there. I existed. I, I, I quickly figured out how to navigate the social structure of minimum security prison. And... Um, you know, all the all the potato chips you could want in here. Woody. The whole shebang. <laughs> the whole shebang. Dude, a dollar good. a bag. I just really out just I, nickname. Colin's gonna, <laughs> Kyle's going to hit commissary late tomorrow and be like, ah, oh, I'm going to pick one up on Woody's recommendation. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I got to try them now. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of interested. Yeah. The, the ones that I liked are original. Okay. Because <laughs> you ordered a different one. Oh, did I? Yes. Yeah, there's another oh, flavor. Yeah, you might have got barbecue or something. Yours oh, no. seemed uh, attractive to me. <laughs> After you do it, I was like, maybe I should have got that one, but I'm happy. I was, I'm so, I was so drunk at the time, I don't even recall. I'm but, like uh... not letting <laughs> Kyle go. <laughs> I'm like straight. Like, ever want to hang up? And the chick is like, oh, no. Yeah, that's so... Uh, Another thing. <laughs> That's yes. what, I'm doing that to PKA right now. Never let go, Woody. <laughs> Never let go. <laughs> All right. PKN 260. Our in-between Kyle series begins. I, I, I knew that he wouldn't be around for PKA, but somehow I didn't fully process that he would also miss PKN. I, yeah, I didn't think about that either. <laughs> I'm glad you said. I'm glad you admitted to that because it, it, it it's pretty obvious. <laughs> but pretty but obvious I was like, he's not going to be here. Well, yeah. It's just it's just two people. Uh, Kyle and I did PKNs for some length of time. I don't know how long. Uh, mm-hmm. When uh, when you, you first joined the show, so it'll be all right. Be it'll all right. be fine. Yeah, I'm really not concerned. It's gonna be, everything's gonna pan out. But <sighs> it is Kyle being gone. It's kind of like having a family member with cancer and you know they're going to be gone at some point and then when they are gone it's like well i just never thought this day would come yeah like I, yeah and Kyle's finally Kyle's in prison as we speak he's <laughs> in prison which is kind of fun we got a picture of the prison which we won't share kyle has opted to keep the the exact like which prison he's going to secret from the fans but um uh, i got it's it, it added a dose of reality to it um you got the same picture, right? You were in that chat? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah I saw it. And it was just like, what? Like, he really went in this morning? Yeah. Okay, then. <laughs> and, and then the, the last PKA, right? Like, we were wrapping up, right? It's like, oh, I don't know, come on, going on midnight or something like that. The next day, by noon, he has to be at the prison. And, it, like, I don't know. I was drawing out the conversation. Like, I don't want to hang up yet. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. <laughs> like, it was a little bit sad. Like after the show ended, we were all kind of actually being nice to each other. Where I was like, <laughs> you know, uh, you're a good buddy of mine, Kyle. If everything <laughs> goes good, and Woody's like, you know, man, you you mean a lot. I, you're gonna get through it just fine. And Kyle's like, I know. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> That's about how it went. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad that Kyle seemed to be going going into it with high spirits, but like. For I think for you and I, thinking about it is like, oh my God, going to prison, that's 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 not even like jail. That's a step beyond jail. That's prison. But for him, he's thinking for the last two years, I could go away for 30 years. I could go away for five years. I can go away for two years. Two years in prison. Oh, that would ruin my life. So to get two months for him probably feels like a birthday almost. Mm-hmm.